what the fuck do you wear to the airport? Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Which most of you are actually. I checked my analytics and 50% of the people that are watching these videos aren't subscribed. What are you doing? Pull yourself together, please. I've had my nails done this morning. But do you know what I'm scared about? These nails are staying on for four weeks. I rebooked my appointment for four weeks. This is unheard of territory for me. I normally get my nails done every two weeks, but I've just got things coming up that just won't allow me to go and get my nails done in two weeks, i.e. going to London next week, which actually happens to be the point of this video because I don't know what I'm wearing to the airport and it's actually kind of stressing me out a little bit. So I figured I would share the stress with you with you you're so welcome what I was also gonna say just before we actually get into it thank you so much for 600 subscribers guys this is crazy 600 people have been like subscribe that is so mad and I know in the in the grand scheme of things there's obviously a lot of people with a lot more subscribers but I'm thinking about it how if I had 600 people message me and say, oh my god, I love your channel. I don't know how I would really handle that, actually. Not well, I don't think. But anyway, back to the current dilemma. What the fuck do you wear to the airport? To be honest, Unitard might be the vibe. I still think that it's got such a funny little name, Unitard. But this... Even if I accidentally eat gluten and my stomach decides to go, this will go right with me, you know? And it has a little bit of cinching in the waist. So we look snatched, makes your bum look good. Um, this might be, this is an option. This is, we're putting this to the side though. <laughs> me and my cream trousers. These are good ones and these are thicker as well. So these might be a good idea to be wearing on the plane because then I'm, wearing one of my thicker items of clothing just go all out with the maxi dress but current issue is i don't oh i stood up too quickly current issue i don't have a nude colored bra i have screwed the pooch just a little bit i don't know where i've put it i had a nude colored bra and then i lost it how one loses a bra i don't know maybe london is for bra shopping Maybe. Do you know what could be big sleigh? What could be big sleigh? That was horrible English, but that's okay. I think we've already established that I speak as if English isn't my first language. It is, but it doesn't sound like it. We could go maxi dress, mother maxi dress. This is actually so sleigh. You guys don't understand, I'm obsessed. Pre-established is the fact that I am going to be wearing my Doc Martens no matter what because I wear them every single day and they are the heaviest shoes that I have. So black and white Docs would pretty much go with any of this. TBH, TBH, Tebs. What the fuck is wrong with me? Let's start trying things on. Shall we? I just saw someone ride past my house wearing AirPods while riding a bike. I feel as though if that were an activity that I attempted, it would be fatal for me or someone else. I'm also kind of big sleigh. This feels easy breezy beautiful. Covergirl. Is that what it is? Is that Covergirls? Anyway, this is my ish, right? If I were to be wearing this in Belfast, I would need a coat of some kind. When I was in London last year, it was sweltering. I was sweltering, it was sweltering, it was hot. It was hot in London. And I'm saying that as an Australian. I don't know that that holds that much gravity though because I was like, fuck, it's really hot today and it's 14 degrees in Belfast. That is not, I think that my passport needs to be taken away from me because of my actions. I do love this dress. This is like, this is actually seen in my Depop haul. Link in the description if you wanna watch it. Oh my God, hell would sorry, our mistake. Courtney, take your break. My only 
issue with this is that I'm going to be wearing Doc Martens. Will the docks kind of clash with this? Maybe. Does it feel a little bit like... I, I feel... What is it that I am thinking of? I feel like something in the Lorax. It's neat now. I need a t-shirt. Jesus Christ. Right, baby T. How do we feel? Stupid fucking dinosaur. I think the baby T might be not right for this. In my personal correct opinion. I'm on correct avis. Just like a classic grey tee. It's got like writing on the back though. But that's fine because I always forget. We do a little tie up so we can still cinch the waist. Thoughts, thoughts, feelings, emotions, concerns. I personally don't have many concerns about this, you know. I think it's actually going to be warm. But, in fairness, I am going to the airport at 2 o'clock in the morning. So it might not be warm for moi. Pour moi. Pour moi. As Max Mike is releasing his Lost Season 2 video this week, and I'm so excited! I feel positive towards this. This is getting a yes, stay on the island from Dennis. Guys, I'm about to leave to get on my flight, but I wanted to do my outfit. And then I remembered I have this like secret third option that I forgot was in the wash when I was filming the initial video. So we're gonna try it on together. And then I'll tell you what I'm wearing and take these off and go. Little like cropped jumper thing. Which I thought might be nice. I texted Toby and said, what is the weather like? And he said, still big coat weather. So, let's see. Oh, this is really cute. What do we think, guys? Do we have thoughts? I think good idea. We're going with this. We're going with this. We, we, we're going with this. Anyway, thank you for watching. Love you and I'll see you next Monday.